Hello, this is Chris Menard. Let me run through a few features of Microsoft Excel Level 1. First thing I'm going to do is highlight the header row and make it bold. That's pretty easy. Uh, if you notice, I have pound symbols and I have some text cut off. That is called Auto Fit. The fastest way to do it is just select the Select All icon right here. Get between any two columns. I'm going to be between A and B and double click. The next thing I'm going to do a1, where it says ABC Company, I'm going to select and stop where the header row ends in row 3 and do a merge and center. And let's make the font 18, yellow, and a dark background. A couple other features here. I'm going to select cost each. Hold down the control key. So that's column E, G, H and I because that needs to be money and I'm going to go apply accounting formatting the dollar symbol. By default you get two decimal places and here's how you do an absolute reference. The extended cost is 361.7 and then 165 and the tax is up here in cell M1. I'm going to do equals G4 times M1, and I'm going to press the F4 function key on the keyboard. If you want to manually type the dollar symbols, you can. That doesn't mean money. It means keep M1 constant when I pull it down. So let's autofill that down now. And if you notice, they're all multiplied times M1. If I wouldn't have done that, it would have been M2, M3. You can always spot an absolute reference cell because it's a number just sitting out there by itself. In fact, I'm going to go make that percentage and increase the decimal two times. So you can always spot absolute reference. Look for a number just sitting by itself. And finally, column J, percentage. And it's up to you how many decimal places you want to use. I'm going to leave it at two. If you need to insert some columns, right-click column D, insert right click and delete it. That's how you insert and delete. If you're going to do multiple columns, click the letter D and pull over, right click and insert. You'll insert multiple columns at one time. I'm going to do undo. Same thing applies for rows. I'm going to right click row 28 and do an insert and that moves down. So hopefully that helps you with merge and center. Auto fit, remember to hit select all, you can do them all at one time. Absolute reference is a number sitting by itself. Remember to press the F4 function key to put in the dollar symbols. Thank you.